So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Steam Workshop mods on a version of Crusader Kings 3 that isn't on Steam. Basically, so you can use any mod on any version. So find the mod that you actually want to download and assuming it's on the Steam Workshop, you will need to use this website to download it. I will leave a link to that in the description of this video. You then want to head to your CK3 folder in your documents. And inside there, you should have a mod folder. If you haven't already, then just create one. Inside the mod folder is where you place the file you just downloaded from the Steam Workshop. Unzip the folder and then you want to put all the files into a separate folder except the decryptor. You then want to name the folder you just created and also rename the decryptor the same name as the folder, as you can see me do here. Then open the decryptor file with any text editor. I'm using Notepad++. And within that file you need to write a line of text to let the game know where the mod is located. So in this case the mod folder and the Silk Road folder. Copy the layout that I'm doing in this video, but obviously instead of Silk Road, you will put the name of the folder you just created for your mod. Make sure you save the text document and then head to the Paradox Launcher. And that's it, you're done. Oh, and don't forget, if you want it to work in game, you need to add it to a playset. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and until next time.